What's up YouTube? Tim here. Um, just uh, back from a family vacation and thought I'd post a video um, as I do have a couple projects that I've been working on. Um, my first thing is actual a uh, warning, not a, a you know, or a, a, uh, um, a, a tip if you will. So the moral of the story here I'll get to first is be patient. Always be patient with your leather work because you'll end up doing something um, that you're unhappy with. And it's just, if you feel like you're getting antsy, you know, put things put things aside and then get back to them later. Um, I uh, am, well, I did make a sheath for a, a friend of the family. And um, it's actually my friend's son. And uh, I was kind of rushing through it because I wanted to get through some uh, uh, um, paying customer stuff. Um, but I also, you know, I take pride in everything that I do. And if someone's going to be using a sheath, I want it functional. If someone's going to have an arm guard, I want it to look good and functional. Anything that I make, I want it to look good and functional. Um, so um, one thing that I like to do once uh, in a while is to harden my leather. And you do that by sucking all the moisture out. And an easy way to do that is to um, put your work in an oven at a very low temperature. Um, suggested anywhere between, you know, um, uh, 200 to 210. Um, I made the mistake yesterday of putting mine in at 250 and um, thinking I could kind of get it done faster so I could get to some other work and I ended up doubling my work. So here is the result of putting my sheath in um, at uh, 250. As you can see, it melted in the back. Definitely worked. It's definitely hard as a rock, but uh, just doesn't do me any good. Um, luckily, um, I already had the you know everything drawn out, um, and I actually could salvage uh, a couple things from the sheath, so it made the second one a little bit easier. Um, but uh, this is what it's supposed to look like here, and um, it did actually end up taking me a, an extra. I don't say hour and a half to two hours of my time to redo the sheath. Uh, most of the time that I spent on, on the first one was, you know, drawing it out, um, cutting everything. Um, and uh, once I had an idea of that, everything went much faster. But still, it was um, two hours that, uh, I, that I didn't need to spend on this because I could have uh, been patient and set the temperature um, at uh, a lower um so the temperature lower and uh, would have been uh, done right the first time. Um, so here, here's the sheath. Fits pretty well. Um, the kid likes the uh, form-fitted look, so it's a it's a very um, thin knife. So there's not much of a a wet molding job here, but still looks pretty cool. Uh, this was the original sheet that it came with. Um, he didn't like this. You know, he wanted something more durable, which I completely understand. If I bought this knife, I'd do the same exact thing. Um, so hopefully he's happy with it. And um, yeah, so uh, tip, don't set your oven uh, to more than 220. I mean, that's even pushing it. I'd say 215. Um, and be patient. Always be patient with your leather work. So I'm going to get set up and do a little uh, knife work for you. Um, I have um, a couple of people that uh, ordered um, arm guards from me, and I will show you um, uh, the, um, well, here it is right here. I don't need to pause it. I'm at, I think, I think I have enough time. Hang on. I'm going to sharpen, I'm going to strop my knife, and then um, start the video back. So this customer, um, their nickname is Silver Fox. So they decided to go with a fox image and um, hopefully they like this. Let's see, where can I start here? Now this type of leather, I really wish I knew like the exact name. Um, I ordered it off Tandy. It's my absolute favorite leather to carve. 
Um, and I think it was um, shipped to me. I think I ordered it as... Um, When it wasn't one of the more expensive hides that they offer, I know that. And I just wish that I knew which one it was because, oh man, do I love carving this. If you ever been in an actual Tandy store, you know they have like just a whole crap load of hides and The um, uh, <clears throat> you can like rummage through them, and you know some are fantastic, some are not so great. Um, so I'm sure their warehouse is probably the same, and it's probably the luck of the draw. when it comes to which one you get, fortunately. So this uh, customer's friend actually ordered one too, and they wanted a uh, they want a um, red-tailed hawk. And I'll probably carve that next if I have time. I mean, I have time. I just not like on camera. <laughs> Well, there you have it. That's the um, roughed out uh, knife work. I didn't say rough out, but the initial knife work done. Um, and um, I think I'm going to go with a braided edge on this. I'm going to back it um, with, I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to do the wool on this one. Um, both the women, I, th I think, are pretty small. They sent me their measurements of their wrist and form and stuff. and. Um, you know, I'm not a big person. I'm, you know, uh, five foot six and 160 pounds, um, and uh, um, their um, measurements were quite a bit smaller than mine. Um, so uh, um, they probably don't want something too too bulky on their arm. So I'll go with something thinner than than the uh, sheep's wool, and I believe they're from the west, um, so it's probably much warmer than it is here in Vermont. Um, Anyways, uh, I can't stop. Anyway, this has been Tim. Embrace your creativity. Thanks for looking, guys. Peace.